Hey, my name is Ferris Rodriguez, and I am a second year graduate student from the Natalia Tetrakova lab. Before I came to the University of Minnesota, I was from a small town called Russellville, Arkansas. I went to Arkansas Tech University, and I got a bachelor's of science in biology. Currently, at least for me, my scientific interests are synthesis, but it's also kind of turned now into peptide synthesis as well as DNA synthesis. To me, I think it's important for at least a medicinal chemist to be able to have good knowledge of how molecules interact and how you start from small and end up with the drug of choice or whatever molecule you will be making as a drug of choice. I'm more interested in how you can start with a small molecule, make it, test it out, see what changes you have to make and, and just keep making these like iterative processes until you have a compound of interest that can be put out to the market and into clinics and just to help people out. Currently, the project that I'm working on is on DNA histone conjugates. And so what we're trying to find out is we're trying to see how these DNA histone complexes or crosslinks uh, affect different DNA transactions. And these DNA transactions are transcription, replication, and the chromatin structure itself. And we want to explore what these conjugates do, at least toward biological function, and what roles they may have in epigenetics as well. Currently, at least with unexpected challenges, for this product to work out, I have to make a specific analog of lysine called amino oxylysine. The first time I did the synthesis of this molecule, it worked out perfectly. Uh, but now that I've ramped up the scale and I'm, I'm trying to make it into larger amounts, I'm having problems with the initial steps, which I wasn't expecting to. And so I'm just trying to troubleshoot that so I can move on with my project. To me, I think um, the research environment here is very collaborative, for sure. Um, there, I have had a lot more experiences with people than I've had at my previous experience at my old university. Also, working with uh, different groups here from the same program or from different programs, it's, it's nice to get all this different expertise that I may not have for myself and just like pick up on things from different people. So I think what I like about the Twin Cities area more so than anything else is that it's a big city, right? And it has all the big city perks, but it's not like a ginormous city like is like LA or New York City. So there, there's definitely things to do outside of the lab, but there's all, it's also calm enough that it doesn't, like you're not up all hours of the night because you hear, you hear noise on the outside. Currently, as a second year grad student, I have to balance between classes and research. And so, at least from the classes perspective, it's now a lot heavier as to what I have to take. Things that will help me get more knowledgeable, at least in what I am currently focusing on. And so, my advisor, Dr. Trichakova, has helped me out picking out classes as to what are, what's most important for me and towards my success on certain projects that I may be on just in my graduate career. Coming here helps me out with my future career. I'm picking up a bunch of different skills that I didn't have before, even though in terms of synthesis, I had just a few experiences, but now I'm picking up all these different things from different people. And I think in the end, it will help me get better. It's even pushing my limits towards things that I may have not wanted to do before. And now I'm getting experience. So it might overall, it should make me a well-rounded scientist, which is something that I think is important to have a successful career. Within the Tetrakova lab, the thing that at least helps me out with synthesizing molecules, we have mass core facilities that are right next door, which helps me identify what I'm making. I also have resources in the sense of my other lab mates, because not, not all my lab mates, of course, do uh, synthesis. Some of them do more biochemistry and some of them do more biology. And so by interacting with them, I'm able to pick up and also understand more so what I'm doing on my level and how it affects them on their level. I think my advice for prospective students who want to join the lab is that even if they don't know what exactly they might want to do, they'll probably more than likely find something here to do. We have everything from synthesis all the way up to biology. And so there's a lot of in between where they can fit and find their little niche where they might want to specialize in. But they also have the resources of having people with knowledge outside of what they're comfortable with uh, if they need any sort of advice.